Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It is August 9th. Lisa Scott Dillon making a Dillon. return it's Dillon. to the, uh, yeah, First News to and to the Facebook Live, the podcast. I just want to remind you, of course, we're live, whether Dillon's here or not, every weekday morning. <laughs> uh, we make this into a podcast after we're done. You can find that at inform.com slash podcast, just like for the Inforum Minute. And we're on our Inform YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. We're live on air every weekday morning, 5 to 7. We're everywhere. Yep. So, but Dylan has been working some different schedules. Yeah, he I've been everywhere. Lately. I've done the 4, I've done the 11, obviously the 11. If you watch the 11, you know. <laughs> done a lot of digital, a lot of digital. I've been to weekends everywhere. You're a Just not first news during the week. Hey. You do it all. Thanks for helping out where you need to go. <laughs> You're welcome. You appreciate you know, without me, you would never know when the sun would come up. True. You just wouldn't know. True. That was my topic this morning, yeah. first news. I mean, You were depressing us all, telling us we're <laughs> losing our daylight. Summer's fading. <sighs> Yeah, I know. I didn't have. I, I got some banger ideas for next week. Just hold oh, on. Next oh, week you got a good idea, really good idea. But you have to get to next week, so you're gonna have to, have to wait. You're hyping you're up, first news. I really am. I think it's me. Whose idea was it though? It's oh, Lydia's, Lydia's idea. Oh, Lydia's taking credit, but she's not in the Facebook Live, <laughs> so I'm gonna take credit. <laughs> <laughs> Give her her credit. Though. Yeah, Lydia. It was definitely Lydia's hey, idea. It's up to you to execute. You oh, it's time. gonna be great. No pressure, but yeah. Tune in to see. I'm next excited. week. Next week. All right, well, before we jump into the weather, why don't you tell us, I mean, we were kind of pouting because we've noticed that the days are getting shorter. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing that awesome sunrise as early. And, you no. know, we go on at 5, and it's dark for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. It is dark for a while. Our sun, sunrise this morning was 616. And throughout the winter, I'm always on first news. It just turns out that way. And I fill in spots. That's why I get moved around so much. And in the winter, I'm always suffering. And then in the summer, when there's actually sun during first news, I don't work first news, <laughs> but that's okay. That's just the way the ball bounces. And by the, the end of the, the month, the cookie crumbles. <laughs> ball bounces, cookie crumbles. What other? Good I don't know. You got nothing? I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. I got nothing. Uh, by the end of the month, our sunrise is 6:45, so mm. we're really losing that quick. Um, we lose an hour and a half of daylight from the beginning of the month to the end. So, a lot of daylight lost. Otherwise, does the time change happen? Time change, October okay. 2nd or 3rd weekend? It's something like that. It's somewhere in October. That's all I know. Yeah. But summer's not over. I mean, well, it's November? It's November. November. I am sorry. What I do you know, Dylan? I kind of Nothing. put... Nothing. It's November 5th. I definitely thought it used November. to be October. Yeah, Maybe it's always November. November 5th is our time change. So okay. Okay. we fall back, but it doesn't really affect us anyway because I think we'll still be dark during first news, so... Yesterday was hot. Yes. Still felt very summer-like, even yes. though we're talking about shorter days and fall. Yeah, uh, what does our nice forecast weather. look like for today? A couple of showers, temperatures in the upper 70s, the north breeze. Uh, pretty nice day, really. Um, tomorrow, a few more scattered showers and thunderstorms. Better chance, especially as we go into the afternoon. We'll continue to watch that. Uh, high temperatures in the low 70s. Not expecting um, severe weather tomorrow. And then the weekend looks nice, too. Right now, Friday and Saturday both look nice, but Saturday looks really nice right now with limited wind. We'll have to see if we get any smoke behind this front on Thursday. Mm. Something right. we always have to watch out for. Yeah, because yeah, that air quality alert still in effect right until noon We actually noon just today. got expired. Just, oh, ten, really? Like 10 minutes ago. Breaking news. This Breaking just news, in. Breaking news, yes. Okay. So my bad. I should have told you that before. But yeah, 10 minutes, <laughs> okay. ago, 10 minutes ago, I got expired right okay. before I came on this Facebook Live. So. Well, that's a good, that's yes. a good thing. I mean, yes. It's a good sign. Yep, so. yep. So... Staying cool though, a couple of shower chances. We have another shower chance on Sunday and Tuesday of next week. So there you go. Staying cool and comfortable for a while. All right, so. all right. sounds good. Good yeah. golfing weather. Yeah, oh, yeah not bad is. at all. It I'll take it. It was kind of windy yesterday, but we made it through. Nah, it was fine. It was fine. <laughs> all right, let's dive into our local headlines this morning. Uh, new this morning, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum is taking some action that's meant to help ease the North Dakota teacher shortage. Uh, we're just three weeks away from the start of school. That's in Fargo, West Fargo, Grand Forks, other places. Uh, there's still a lot of positions that actually need to be filled right now. Burgum's new measure is going to allow student teachers to teach alone without another teacher in the room to provide feedback. Now, WDAY reported earlier this week, Fargo, Fargo Public Schools still looking to fill 58 positions. Jamestown, 10 positions. Several other schools have positions to fill still as well. Uh, Burgum called this emergency rulemaking reasonably necessary to help schools fill up these spots. And uh, Lisa, there's actually, you know, there's requirements that are going to need to be right. in place Not, and some things that have to go on yeah. between the students, teachers, and the school districts as well. Right. I mean, it will help to get those student yeah. teachers into the classrooms, but here are a couple of the things that do need to happen first. Students will have to complete all of their coursework 
They must also receive a positive evaluation from a field or classroom experience. And they also need a letter of recommendation from their college mm -hmm. or university. In addition, the school district that um, is seeking that person uh, will have to submit a letter saying they could not find a licensed teacher. So mm -hmm. it's not a free for all. There are yeah. still some requirements, restrictions that are going to need, but hopefully it helps yeah. because that's a lot of empty uh, positions still to fill. It really sure. is. All right, this morning we're learning more about the car accident that uh, led up to that deadly July 14th shooting uh, that killed a Fargo police officer. Of course, that's Jake Walleen. Uh, newly re released crash report from the North Dakota DOT tells us that just before 2.40 in the afternoon that day, a BMW driven by 25-year-old Carly Coswick rear-ended a Mazda that was in front of her. That car was driven by a man from West Fargo. There were three adults and a teenager in that same car with him. So then that car also bumped into a third vehicle that was ahead of him. So three cars total. Now, police let the third driver leave without getting their name at all because their car wasn't damaged. And then, you know what happened about 25 minutes later, Muhammad Barakat opened fire on the crash scene, killing Officer Jake Walleen, injuring Officers Tyler Hawes and Andrew Dotis. Barakat also shot Carly Koswick as she ran away. And then Officer Zach Robinson shot and killed Barakat. So... Not a ton there, but it does just kind of set the scene and give us a little bit more mm -hmm. insight into kind of what was going on. I would like time. to hear from that, the third vehicle that was just, yeah. you know, involved, but no damage. Like they had no idea what, you and know. That, and that second car had five people in it. Right. So good yeah. thing no one there got hurt. So interesting just to kind of set that scene and, and know a little bit more about what was happening in that situation. Right now, the Polk County Sheriff's Office is investigating what led to a crash that ended with a car getting stuck in a culvert. This happened uh, in a rural area uh, near East Grand Forks yesterday morning. The car was on a rural gravel road, went into the ditch, hit the culvert. Uh, we do know the driver is 38-year-old Tanya Jensen. Uh, she was seriously hurt and was taken to a local hospital. Uh, the next time you get your driver's license in North Dakota, it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, a new ID is going to feature the Badlands and a Sunrise ultraviolet image with an updated state logo. The Department of Transportation says North Dakota will be the first state to use what they're calling a squircle, <laughs> like which is uh, square with its edges rounded for the look-through element. Uh, they say this unique shape will make it harder to counterfeit. Can you sing? No, Could not you at all. be the next American Idol? Hey, I can do some karaoke with the best of them, but... Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you think you have what it takes, well, you can try out yeah. audition for American Idol today. And you don't even have to leave your home. This is really cool. Uh -huh. So the judges will be asking people today at virtual auditions online if they have what it takes. And, and in fact, they're looking, I guess they kind of break up the country, but today it's like North and South Dakota. Yeah. They want to hear from potential, you know, idols. Also, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Texas. All you have to do is go to the website, AmericanIdol.com slash auditions, mm -hmm. and sign up. Yeah, you have to Built be 15, 15 years old, That's but true. hey, if you think you're good at singing, give it a whirl. You never know where it could go. You never know. All right, uh, millions of Americans hope to become a billionaire off the Mega Millions jackpot, and someone did. The lucky winner bought that ticket in Florida. Uh, the jackpot is worth an estimated $1.58 billion, the largest in the Mega Millions history. Uh, now, whoever won can decide to take a lump sum payment option. That's about $783 million before taxes. There was also seven other winners sold in six states. Uh, they also won several million dollars. However, none of these tickets were sold in Minnesota or North Bummer. Dakota. They never are, it feels no, like. No, not even just like a million dollar yeah. ticket. You know, we'd take a couple of those. Yeah, that'd be nice. All right. We are so excited about this story because mm -hmm. we are super fans already. Former NDSU <laughs> offensive lineman Cody Mauk is already making quite the impression mm -hmm. at Buccaneers training camp. Uh, Tampa Bay just released their first depth chart ahead of the preseason, and it already listed Cody Mauk as their starting right guard yeah. for the team. Exciting so, for him. Yeah, brand new starting he went pretty high. In, yeah, you know, they, so. they took him pretty high in the draft. They have expectations that he's going to contribute right away, and I think he will. So uh, first time you can probably see him will be this Friday. Who knows how much the starters will actually play. It's preseason, but they're playing the Steelers. He'll probably be out there for, I'd say, a series or two. So we'll see what happens, and, of course, wishing him the best and uh, to stay healthy as two. So. We're talking sports. Remember, Hot Mike with Don Mizzo is coming up here 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra. The Twins' top two prospects played side-by-side -side last night in St. Paul. Uh, in the 
Dick Bremer is going to join us from Detroit to tell us uh, when we could see them both yeah. in the big leagues. Next era of players. And the Bison have lined up another first-time opponent to come to the Fargo Dome. Uh, we'll introduce you to Southeast Missouri State. And remember, now's a great time to get your Inform.com subscription. 99 cents a month for mm -hmm. your first three months. Just go to Inform.com slash subscribe to check out that deal. Yeah, and then join us the rest of the day on air. Our next newscast, Dylan will be there, 11 o'clock. And then uh, this afternoon, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And we'll be back tomorrow morning for first news from 5 to 7. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.